Hello and welcome to Hannah and Emily's European Adventure. We started in London and then we went to Amsterdam and now we're in Paris. Our journey from the train station was less than ideal. Perilous, I would say. In every other city I've been to in Europe, there are escalators or lifts in all of the, like, on all of the platforms to get out of the metro stations. Not the case in Paris. We were just praying the whole time that when we got here to our stop to get to our hotel, there would be an escalator and guess what? There was an escalator. I've never felt so excited <laughs> in my life. I knew God was real in that moment. And now we're at a hotel. And it's beautiful. So we'll see you when we go explore. Oh, you're the only one I... On the first night we went to dinner at a place called Vivant De. You're gonna have to forgive me this whole video for my pronunciation, but it was really cool and really good. And then afterwards, we wandered around a bit, but we were kind of tired. So we just decided to get some ice cream and head back to the hotel for the night. We got the great French Bake Off. This is how we're learning French today. We went to the Louvre in the morning and I had been there before so I let Hannah pick the route that we were going and she decided on the Beyonce music video tour. So we watched the music video of course. This is important. <laughs> How's your quiche? Delicious. And then we followed in the footsteps of Queen Bee herself. We wrapped up at the Louvre and then we headed over to eat lunch at a place called Pink Mama which is a notoriously Instagrammable spot. So obviously I took this photo of my food on this cute sunflower plate and jokingly said, phone eats first. And these two American girls that were sitting next to us made a comment about how when you can understand what people are saying, they just don't seem as sophisticated or mysterious anymore. And at first that really hurt my feelings, but then I remembered that I wasn't there to be mysterious or sophisticated. I was there to enjoy my time in Paris. So here's all the photos I took of my food on this trip, and I hope that you enjoy them. We made the trek up the hill to the Montmartre area, and it was well worth the hike up there. It's so beautiful. And if you ask me, one of my favorite things about traveling is always just wandering around aimlessly. I love just stumbling upon gyms like this little park that we sat in for a bit and this cafe. Here we are at the, at the tower. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oh, we. Oui. <laughs> We made it on the boat after a 15 hour long wait. It was, uh, we were hungry. Um, we did not use the bathroom. That's just joking. It was 30, 40 minutes. We did not think we were gonna make it. It is 8.56. The last boat leaves at nine. And so by just the miracle of the ocean and the sea, we have made it onto this boat to see the twinkling lights. The ocean <laughs> What's been your favorite part of the trip so far? It was walking around Amsterdam with really not a plan, just vibing. Just vibing. Just vibing. Here we go. You're gonna do it. to follow our hearts on this day and see where they led and the first place they let us do was this market you cannot take a rug back i will try to though look at how cute this rug is i would buy that <laughs> also popped into this perfumery called nose and we left with lots of samples and we grabbed a delicious lunch at ferdy before heading to the tuileries garden <laughs> okay pronunciation is not my strong suit i'm very sorry so pretty here
We went back to the hotel to freshen up and then later that evening headed out to go to the catacombs. We're walking down to the catacombs and the stairs that do not end. It's really underground. The catacombs were really cool and we went for dinner and then we tried to go to a bar and we kind of had a misunderstanding about our reservation so it was kind of awkward. And that was it for Paris. The next morning we woke up bright and early and headed to the airport to fly to Nice. I got us a little lost looking for our rental car but we finally found it and we were on our way into the center of Nice. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. We only had time for a quick lunch in Nice, but we vowed to come back later in the trip because it's so beautiful. But it was time to head to our Airbnb in Calion. Hello, we just made it to our Airbnb in the south of France, and it's stunning. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I'll show you around in a bit. But first we have to go to the grocery and get some water because we are parched. The next day we decided to explore two towns along the coast, starting in Cannes. Hello from Cannes! Bonjour! We had a beautiful beachside lunch, we saw the yachts, we saw where they hold the Cannes Film Festival, and then we walked along the beach. We then walked up to Les Secures, where we admired the views, before heading over to Antibes. We didn't do much in Antibes other than people watch at the beach and have dinner. And then we drove home. It was a little bit of a treacherous drive through the curvy roads at night, but we made it. And the next morning we headed back to Cannes for a beach day. This was at the same place that we had lunch yesterday. We affectionately call it Legoland because it's spelled like Legoland. But it was a really, really fun day. Very chill, very relaxed, and we loved every second of it. We started the next day off right at our favorite boulangerie near our Airbnb and then we drove up to a town that our Airbnb host had recommended to us. Solien. <laughs> this is where we're staying and then we did a little drive over here and now that's where we're at. And I want to live here. It's the shakiest my hands ever been in my life. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was because it was kind of a gloomy day, but we basically had the whole town to ourselves to explore. <laughs> Anybody want some escargot? Oh my gosh. We even made a few animal friends. Bonjour, Sean. It raining a little bit harder, so we headed back towards Calion, and of course, we had to stop at our boulangerie on our way home. As we left our Airbnb on the last day, the weather was appropriately gloomy. We're sad. <laughs> Went up to our our old reliable boulangerie. Um, we were here twice. Oh, there's a different lady. Maybe she won't recognize us. Very windy here in Nice today. Since we didn't have much time in Nice, we decided that it would be a good idea to take the petite train so we could cover the most ground and learn a little bit as we went. 1884 to 1868. After our train ride, it was time to say au revoir to France and head to the airport. You're the star. I'm the star of the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming along on this trip with us. We hope that you enjoyed watching. If you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.